Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another makeup tutorial video. Uh, barbecue sauce titties here. What I want to do for this specific million subscribers video is just go back and look at everything that happened that got us to this point. There are some other fun things I want to do since I hit a mill. But those will be in different videos. I just want to make sure I got this video out today. We hit it last night. We hit it last night at like 11.55 p.m. It was really close. I will never forget this day. I promise you that. For those of you that don't even know how my channel started, it all started in sophomore year of high school, which was when the first ever Madden Mobile came out. When that game came out, I played it so much and was so addicted that it wasn't even fun to play my friends anymore. I remember Donovan and TK telling me, they were always like, dude, like, you literally play so much. Like, it's not even fun anymore. So I kept earning coins because I played the game so much until I made a specific Instagram account for Madden Mobile, which was infamously Madden Mobile Gods. Now, this is also where Messing with Scammers started because there were so many people in this community who would just take someone's money or take their coins and not pay them. Obviously, I didn't do that because I'm not a scumbag, but also I wanted like the account to go on. I didn't want to just scam somebody then run away, you know? I had to have a good reputation, otherwise I couldn't keep selling coins. Well, one day, this is hilarious because people always ask me why I made a YouTube channel. Some person who I still, to this day, I don't know who they are, and I have to thank you so much for saying this to me. But one day I get a message from someone. They had just bought coins from me. And they'd given me a $50 Amazon gift card. And after that, I said, hey man, thanks for the deal. And they said, hey dude, you should make a YouTube video. I'm sure you'd sell a lot more coins. And I responded by saying, why would I sell more coins on a YouTube video? That doesn't even make sense. And he said to me, he said, well, if you make a video about like how to make coins or how to open packs or something, and then in the description, you just tag your Instagram or your kick or whatever I was selling on, you'd probably get a lot more people asking you for coins. And I kind of sat back, I was like, oh my God, this guy's a genius. Like that's actually a really good idea. So the first time I ever made a YouTube video and the reason I ever made a YouTube video was to sell more Madden Mobile coins. I did not make YouTube videos thinking that I would have a million subscribers one day or that I'd have an actual audience. I literally did it as a sellout to sell more coins. That is so classic. <laughs> So then it begins. I remember making my thumbnails on some absolute garbage. Like, look at my thumbnails. I'm looking at my first five videos right now. Are Pro Packs worth it? Legendary bundle opening. Madden 15 Mobile Ultimate Team. Team of the Week pack opening. What is up, guys? Madden Mobile Gods here. And today, as per request, we are going to do a Team of the Week pack set, whatever you want to call it, opening. I would make these thumbnails on some absolute garbage computer app with Connor. Me and Connor would sit there and make them. I recorded my videos off of my jailbroken iPhone because on a jailbroken iPhone, you had this native screen recording app, which like you could add audio to. I didn't know how to edit or cut up anything, so I just post the whole Meep. dog shit of it. This is also when I first started that legendary once a year video, which was opening all pro packs at the end of the year with all the coins that I had left. Best pro packs ever, Mobile Masters Pull Madden Mobile. This was my last video of Madden Mobile 15. After that, I finally started to actually consistently post Madden Mobile 16. <laughs> This is my, I'm looking at my 10,000 subscribers Q&A titled with viewer discretion advised. Oh my God, I'm wearing my fake earrings in this video. I used to wear fake earrings for every video. They're magnetic earrings. They would hurt my earlobe so bad and I would wear them for every video because I thought they looked cool. <sighs> I wish I could just take a big eraser and just erase that chunk of my life but that's all right. So at this time, three and a half years ago, I was literally just posting like coin making methods and trying to sell more coins. Wow, how, have, how we have changed. So as we move past that, YouTube actually said that they would monetize my videos so that I can make money off of videos. And we started to get to the point where my video revenue was surpassing my coin selling revenue. So I eventually stopped selling coins and was actually just making videos because I was still so addicted to the game and I didn't have to sell coins anymore to make money on the side. So it was just really cool. I'm a senior in high school now. 
Uh, I'm finally learning how to make thumbnails on my phone, and I finally learned how to edit and use a face cam, which is still not very true because the editing was not good and the face cam and everything was pretty garbage. A lot of the times, like, my audio was out of sync and everything was broken, but at least I knew how to make thumbnails on my phone. You can see, like, a really evident change where, like, all my thumbnails look the exact same, but slightly different with different colors, and they actually look decent. Team update featured my doggy. At seven seconds into this video, Goose is spotted for the first time on the MMG channel. Goose! Oh, I miss you, Goose. That year went on. Madden Mobile was huge that year, and it was so much fun. I literally made so many Madden Mobile videos, and I kid you not, guys, I don't think I ever missed a day of uploads. I uploaded almost every single day for six months straight. Now, granted, it's Madden Mobile. It takes, like, 15 minutes to make a video compared to, like, the four hours that it takes me and my editor now. Oh, this was when they had those crazy gift rewards in Madden Mobile. I'm looking at some of them right now. The 50 times blitz packs. You guys remember the 50 times blitz packs video? That video was nuts. Those blitz packs were off the charts. Like this is one of like my favorite old videos because I pulled so many good players. This is when EA was a lot less greedy about like keeping good players out of your hands. The first ever messing with scammers. Messing with scammers busted. This is when everybody and their mom was trying to scam on Madden Mobile. Honestly, if you're watching this video and you've never tried to scam someone, like, on any game you've ever played, you're probably bullshitting. I used to play old school RuneScape, and I would always try and double people's coins, like, 12 years ago. Yeah, I know. I'm confessing now. My first ever sellout! Huddle, and I gotta show you some sick cards that I pulled earlier. Tops Huddle wanted me to play their app for a video and they would give me X dollars. And I was so hesitant to post it. I was like, oh, my fans are gonna hate me. Why would I like sell out? I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Classic, now I sell out every day, okay. Now at this point, I'm looking at two years ago. That year went on, it was pretty much just like Madden Mobile, Madden Mobile. Then on June 15th, 2016, we get into the Bella era, which is your guys' favorite. Girlfriend drafts my team. Girlfriend guess who? Hawaii vlog. Woof. That one. Ugh. Bella and MMG read comments. Wow, I really milked the shit out of this girlfriend thing, didn't I? MMG more like MLG. Dude, this is one of my favorite, my like most favorite videos on my channel. And I don't think a lot of you have seen this. This is an old ass video. This is when I first got a real video editing software. Wow. So I sat down for like way too long. It took me like five hours and made this stupid ass MLG edit of me bowling. This is when I have like my buzzed, my super buzz cut hair. Oh, I love this video. Look at those shorts. Why was that in style? So next we moved into my freshman year of college at Michigan State University. Going into that, I knew that I wanted to do like the college experience, but I still had my girlfriend who was still in high school, which was Bella, and I still had the channel. So I kind of figured how could I make videos and have a girlfriend and be in college and I was kind of worried I was going to just not have to do the channel anymore. So this is around the time I got my first ever editor, which was BMO. You guys remember BMO probably. He was incredible. I, I appreciate that man so much for what he helped me do. But I'm not going to lie. I had a pretty shitty freshman year of college. I wasn't invested in college at all. I didn't join anything. Like, I commuted on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays back to my house in DeWitt so that I could record videos. I didn't bring any of my equipment to the dorms. I actually recorded videos at my house. I am grateful that I did it because I wouldn't have the channel if I didn't do it. But looking back on it, I, I wish I had that year back, you know? But also I wouldn't be here with a million subscribers. So can't really talk too much shit about it. I was also at a little crises in my channel at this time because I was posting Mad Mobile and it wasn't very popular at all. So I tried to post other stuff, but obviously I wasn't gonna get views on that stuff either. So. On top of that, and being in college, I was getting really discouraged, for sure, of posting. The third year was probably the best year of my life so far, but not necessarily the best year for my channel. This is when me and Bella broke up, 
which was the there's something you guys should know video. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, sad video. We usually don't make sad videos on the channel, but me and Bella are done. <laughs> this is when I finally actually got the college experience. This is my sophomore year of college. Me and Bella broke up. I didn't know what to do with my life. I was being this lazy scumbag and like, now I was going to classes and making videos and doing nothing else. And that was just a sad, sad way to live my life. So I joined a fraternity, which was without a doubt the best decision of my life. I encourage you guys, if you go to college, to join uh, Greek life. If you guys are gonna go to college, make sure you do something. Like, make sure you do something while you're there. That's all I can really tell you. But after I got out of that relationship with Bella and I was finally like feeling confident again, I guess, it's kind of sus. But that's when I really just started to be ballsy with my content and do like whatever the hell I want. Like I bought my dad a car and then like months later I bought my mom a car just for shits and gigs. That was badass. Like I was making videos with Vic. I was starting to make console content consistently. I was kind of just doing whatever I wanted and I enjoyed that a lot better. And that's what I do today still. I just do whatever the f I want. Like and I love it. It's amazing. This is also when I was really getting fed up with EA's bullshit. I made that EA rant video. And ever since I made this EA has done it again rant video, they have me blocked. Yo, I am literally the biggest Madden content creator right now. I don't care if you boy pizza has more subs. I get way more views than him on my Madden videos. I am their biggest creator. And they have me blocked on Twitter. You guys are so soft. I love that. This is when Fortnite started getting big. Oh my God. This is one year ago today is when Fortnite started getting big and I was posting on my channel. I remember first playing Fortnite and the only gun I liked was the crossbow. It was some bullshit. I don't know why. When your mom catches you vaping is another classic. Absolutely love that video. Don't jewel. It's not cool. And then we got into this year, which has by far been my best year on YouTube so far. Um, I don't know what it was. I think a lot of it has to do with Prince Prodigy, my current editor. He is incredible. We do a great job. I finally stopped being lazy and really like committed to uploading a lot. We put out bangers. This is when I made the Minecraft video. It was three months ago that we did the Minecraft video. Gentlemen! Our, our masterpiece is complete. I don't even remember how it started, but someone's like, we want Minecraft, which is such bullshit because I know you guys don't want to watch me play Minecraft. Please tell me you don't want to watch me play Minecraft. And then like, I would joke about it. So then it became a way bigger joke. And then all of a sudden I actually played Minecraft and it has 225,000 views. 225,000 views clicked in to watch me play Minecraft. I peaked that day. I will never do anything greater. Oh my God, do you guys remember the MMG channel trailer too? I paid these thoughts like $10 on Fiverr. Hi, and welcome to MMG's channel. Here you will find only the dankest videos on the planet. You can also see some spicy challenges and vlogs. Thanks for watching and don't forget, Papa, Papa is the, the goat. goat. So after four years, three different girlfriends, whooping your boy pizza's ass in Madden, Playing Madden Mobile, transitioning to Madden Console, going to college, joining a fraternity, now the president of the fraternity, forgot to mention that. We now sit here with a million subscribers. That is nuts. I don't even know what to say anymore. I wanna thank my mama, my dad, my brothers, my dogs. I wanna thank all of you I want to thank my editors over the years, BMO, Denver, and now Prince. I want to thank everyone who's ever helped me with a thumbnail or a Twitter profile picture, all that graphic stuff that I never used to be very good at. I want to thank all my sponsors. Love y'all. I want to really thank all my, my in real life friends for supporting me because honestly, it's not like cool. I don't think it's cool to be a YouTuber. Like back when I didn't have a lot of subscribers, it wasn't cool that I was a YouTuber. In fact, it was super lame. Like who thinks a, a person who spends their time like playing video games and uploading it to the internet, which is cringy by default, no matter how funny you are, it's cringy by default. Like who thinks that's cool? And then all of a sudden, like you get here and now, yeah, people will be like, oh, a million subscribers, that's really cool. But if I just tell someone a YouTuber, most people, don't think that's cool. So I want to thank my, my friends in real life and my parents and everybody else 
who actually supported me in doing this because if I just listened to all those f***ers who like thought they're sweet and thought you could like shit talk people for playing video games and putting it on YouTube, blow me because I'm at a mill and you can't say shit. When I have that gold plat- oh my god. This went from a thank you to a shit talk. Whoopsies. Yeah, that gold plaque's coming in soon. I'm definitely gonna make an unboxing video when that comes in. But that's it. I'm like eternally grateful for you guys. I'm most likely getting MMG tattooed on me right here. And I'm not shitting you. I'm most likely getting MMG tattooed right on my chest. I'll make a video about that too. This is the most like surreal part of my life so far. And when I'm 80 years old and I haven't done YouTube in like 50 years, I'll still think about all the shit I did in the past four years. So I'm definitely gonna get a... I'm definitely getting that tattoo. Stay tuned for that video. I just decided right now. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for always watching my videos, always commenting, always sitting through my bullshit sponsors, always buying into the memes, always copying the merch, just fucking being there, dude. Like, holy shit. I love you all. I will see you guys tomorrow. Back with your regularly scheduled Papa Meeks content. Um, stay classy, eat ass. I love you. Goodbye.